to series English. Today we study English, but as usual, do not forget that on this channel we also study Russian, so stay tuned. Today we are going to discuss English modal verbs. Of course, we have already touched upon this problem many times, but I didn't devote a whole class to modal verbs which denote possibility, ability, and this kind of stuff. So this class is going to be about them can, be able to, and some others. Well, let's start with can. We're going to refresh our memory. Uh, some of the information in this episode might seem quite obvious, but still there are going to be some peculiarities which we are going to discuss. Can is used when you want to say that something is possible, or somebody is allowed to do something, or when somebody has an ability to do something. Life couldn't get much better than this. Okay. Now, just because Jordan thinks it's cute that you're violating her little sister doesn't mean that you can use my guest room for your nerdy G-rated sexcapades. The negative form is, of course, can't. Like, oh, I can't hurt an animal. No, I can. I can't speak Chinese, unfortunately. Okay, moving on to the form to be able to. Of course, it is much less usual. Uh, however, there are some peculiar situations in which you are supposed to use be able to instead of can, because can has only two grammatical forms, can and could, and in some situations, of course, we are supposed to use future or perfect forms. In this case, we are supposed to use to be able to. Let's take a look at an example. Don't answer your phone unless it's me, and do not move off that couch. Dorota will be able to tell if there are fresh footprints on the opposite. Moving on to the past form of can, could. Sometimes it is the past of can. Here I should point out that there is a list of verbs after which we are supposed to use could and it can mean the past of can. These verbs are see, hear, taste, smell, feel, remember, and understand. So you can say, I can smell gas in if you are talking about the present and I could feel gas when I entered the room. You are talking about the past. That problem anymore. So if you think about it, I hate them. <laughs> what? You said you like them. Did I? Let's refresh. I believe what I said was that I could see your scalp. <laughs> now let's take a look at the difference between could and was able to. When you talk about some general abilities, like my grandmother could touch her nose with her tongue, you use could. But when you talk about some specific situations, you are supposed to use was, were able to or managed to. My grandfather was a great football player and he could score in any match. However, if my grandfather was not actually a good football player, I can say that, for example, usually he didn't do such a good job, but in some particular match he managed to score. Or in some particular match he was able to score. Say Bernard. One black kid Caruso <laughs> could handle, but two of us were like Will and Martin and Bad Boys. Oh, and I have a surprise. Uh, I had to pull some strings, but I was able to get everyone passes to the entire conference. That's right. <laughs> If you talk about a negative form, couldn't, it can be used in all situations. In when you talk about some general abilities or when you talk about some peculiar, uh, particular, specific situation. It occurred to Lynette Scavo she could not remember the last time her family had breakfast together. So, however, could is not always used when you talk about the past. It can be used to describe possible actions now or in the future. So, in this meaning, it is close to might and may. How's his neural exam? Neural. Could it be a compression fracture? Thanks. 
something to do like if we compare can and could when we talk about present uh, well, could can be used uh, to describe an unrealistic situation. For example, um, well, it was a hard day and I have been working like a dog, so now I think that I could sleep for a week. Of course, it's unreal. So that's why can is not possible here, only could. There is one more construction which is very interesting, could have done. And of course we have already discussed it, when after a modal verb you use a perfect infinitive, in this case you are talking about the past. And in most cases, if something could have happened, it means that there was a possibility, but it didn't happen actually. Or lie to Penny. What was I supposed to say? You could have told her the truth. That would have hurt her feelings. Is that a relevant factor? <laughs> yes. If we use a negative form couldn't, usually it means that something would not be possible now. But if we talk about the past, in this case we are supposed to use couldn't have done. We talk about something which wouldn't have happened in the past. Of course, we're going to keep studying modal verbs, but I guess that's it for today, because your head must be bursting with knowledge. So, I uh, hope that you enjoyed this video and you will learn some new stuff. Do not forget to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me everywhere in Vkontakte and uh, Facebook. So, hope to see you soon. Happy English and Russian practice. Bye-bye. Follow me in uh, well different social no networks. Works. How do I look?